Okay, this is something that was really troubling me about the Samsung Cloud. If you see this here in Samsung Cloud, uh, you'll notice that my gallery is saying 49.86 KB or GB size and my storage is full. I was paying I was paying 70p or 79p a month for the storage in Samsung and I've now got to a level now where the next stage is an upgrade and if you look at an upgrade the upgrade I mean this is this is pretty good value I think 79 pence per month but then I think if you look at the next one the next one is now 245 249 a month and I think I think this is just the point where I think okay you know what this is now going to get start getting quite expensive so what I wanted to do was clear out some of my gallery space and I was just looking at ways ways to do that and it was quite difficult because my photos and my videos are stored uh, kind of together and because of that it's it's really really very difficult to find individual photos which I like so I think the first thing that you have to do if you want to reduce the amount of storage in your phone is to cut down the videos uh, and store them away because for me videos were very important so I'll just show you the procedure on how to do that so what I've done here is I've now connected my Samsung S8 to my computer and these are all the other folders that I've got. What I'm going to do now is I went into DCIM and I'm going to go straight into camera. Camera is where everything is kind of, you know, everything related to the camera is. Let that load. And once everything is loaded, you'll see it's all missy matchy and each one kind of has you know, 104 MB, blah, 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 you know, whatever the amounts are. So the first thing is to uh, to sort them out by size. So you right click, sort by, and put by size and ascending, okay? And, oh, sorry, descending, excuse me. It's got to be descending. So sort by uh, descending, okay. Now we have all of the pictures on the, all of the videos on the top and what I'm going to do now is just select select the videos on my phone and I'm going to drag them into my hard drive which is here for all my backups of all my files so I've selected what I want and I'm just going to move them to here and I'm going to move them because faster than copying and deleting and we just copy them across like that and once that's once that done once that's done I'll let you know what to do next now this is the problem I now got I've moved all the files across so they're no longer inside there and when we look at my phone my cloud usage is still 50 GB And when you look at the storage, the system, you see it's 51 GB and my videos are still there. So I don't, I'm, I'm still confused why, um, why we, you know, image is only 5.7. Okay, audio is there, but the cloud just won't sync up even though I deleted all of my, um, all of my videos and everything. So, you know, I, I went through the internet. I've, I've, you know, spent a lot of time trying to find different solutions for this type of, but I really couldn't find anything. And anywhere I looked, they were like, oh, we'll delete the photos from here or delete the videos from here. But then now I can't even see the videos on here. I mean, the videos are showing here as WhatsApp videos, but th that's a different thing. Um, oh, by the way, check this out. If you've got a minute, check this out. This is my friend Niccolo in his skiing. He's using his... Oh, he's using his parrot, his parrot dro drone to do that when he's skiing, which I think is pretty cool. Look, whoa, that's pretty cool. Um, so, you know, I looked, I looked at different ways to do this. And as I said, nothing would really work. So what I, what I decided to do, or what you'll, what you'll have to do is if you do decide to go down this route, 
to delete the videos so you can save up a lot of ways. What you'll do is you will um, delete the cloud and then allow the phone to sync up with it. So that's a dangerous thing to do. And a lot of people are scared of doing that, but that is the best way to do it. So you delete the cloud and then you resynchronize with the phone. So I'll just go through that with you now and let's see what happens. So what we do now is we go click on that. Oops, sorry, my mistake. Click on the little three dots on the side and then we go, I don't know, I don't know why my dog's, my dog's freaking out here. Lovely. Uh, so we go into uh, where are we going set settings and um, click on your Samsung cloud and then go all the way down and then you go delete all data in the cloud and if you look here it's got delete all things read the terms here your photos and videos will be permanently deleted. Uh, the gallery data on your phone won't be deleted. Gallery sync won't be deleted. Some shared images and won't be deleted. So you just go there and then you go delete and delete and turn off sync. Oh, that's now going to ask you for your password. I'll just type that in and then we'll go from there. And if you have a look here, it says all of your gallery data has been deleted from Samsung Cloud. Oh no. And if you have a look here now, we're now on zero. <laughs> so I'm back to zero. And what you have to now do is turn this all back on, turn on your other phone data, contacts, gallery, everything. Turn it all back on. And that should then work. Let's see if that works. And if you look here, we're all synced, ready to go. And that's what it takes. So it took some time for it to re-upload the data and do everything but you know eventually you'll get there so that's one way of saving a lot of room on your on your phone i hope you found this uh, video informative and um, you know let me know if it worked if it does please like and also maybe try to subscribe to my channel you might find it interesting thank you